Well, it's uh, Tuesday, June the 5th. I am older today, 74. I want to share this video with you. My buddy Thomas just sent it to me. It says, My Life Equinox Broken, number six. It's a very interesting video. Published by a guy named Lewis, 1141-951. I hope you can see that. You should be able to. Very interesting video. I'm getting ready to go out in my yard and test it out a little bit myself. No uh, spin today. Not nice to take back crap like that. My daughter's flying in from Denver, Colorado. She's going to be here like a month. Got to pick her up at the airport. And tomorrow I got to get stuff ready for the. I got to pick up more knives and get ready for the farmer's market in the afternoon. So it won't be any spins. It'll be knife crap. But this is something you should look at, you Equinox people. And anybody else. It's kind of cool. Certain areas I have coins buried. I use this for a test garden over the years. I have some quarters over there. I have some mini balls right through here. Up against that tree line, I have a pair of sunglasses and a, and a half a dollar. And you can't see it because I have things in the way, but I got some nickels buried over there. Here's what we're going to test today since we're into that testing thing after watching that video. We're going to test these in the beach two mode. That's what we always hunt in. In my yard. We're going to lay them flat like that guy did. And then we're going to stick them down in the ground on the edge. Edge up only like this. See how that does. And then we might switch to that. I want to hunt the park mode. See how that does. I don't think a park's going to work on the beach. I think it's going to be too chattery. Single frequency. But when we go back to the beach, we're going to try that just for the hell of it. What do you think, Big Ol' Jack? You sleeping? Your tail's wagging. <laughs> I get ready to go. I notice a fly flying around. My dogs love to dig voles. They don't eat them. You just catch them. And kill them, I guess. Look at that guy. That's just like the third or fourth one in this past week. My yard is full of holes though. <laughs> you can't see them because of grass. Voles! Here's the first nickel. Now this nickel's been in the ground for at least 10 years. Shows you it's six inches. That's about right. Over here, that's just laying on the ground somewhere. I threw it down when I first brought the Equinox, brought it out here to test it. So it hits it good in beach. We'll just land straight up. And like I said, if I went over there, let's hold on a minute. There's a half a dollar. It says four inches. So it hits it good, which it normally would, you know. So let's go over here, see if we can find us a clear spot. Okay, stand by. Damn, I can't even find it now. Right here is a nickel I just stuck in the ground, edge up. And there's the half a dollar, that's edge up. Let's swing over them now, see if we can hear them. It hits the uh, nickel great. Now, but it doesn't hit the silver too good. You see it's erratic, just like in that guy's video, a two and a four. 
Half a dollar, edge up. Interesting, isn't it? Now if we turn a different way, still jumps around a little bit. Now if you turn if you turn sideways to it, with the edge facing you know crossways or parallel, I guess that's what you want to call it, it'll pick it up. But only at the very tip of the coil. See where the coil is? If you go over there, drops right back down again. Let's see what happens if we do it this way. Over the center. Still, still doesn't make any difference from the tip like it did edgewise. Look at that. Isn't that funny? Strong. Where's that nickel at? Nickel hits any kind of way. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Parallel to the half a dollar. Knocks your ears off. Over the center. No go. I mean it goes, but it's reading 14, 15, 19. That's the tip. 32. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Well, now I'll switch to park. Park 2. Not that I've ever been in park 2 before, but we'll try it. 16. We're straight up and down on the half a dollar now. You can see it. Edge straight up. Par not parallel. He knocks it out. Parallel. He still knocks it out on the tip. She knocks it out in the center, but at 14. The nickel doesn't make any difference. Any way you go across the nickel, it hits. But it does pick it up in line. Okay, we're in multi-frequency. He says you got to work in single frequency, it works better. So if I were to use it, I like five frequency, five kilohertz, I mean. So I'm going to switch it to five kilohertz and see how it does. I don't see any difference, five kilohertz. It doesn't change when you go over the coil, the center part of the coil. It's the same reading all the way. Let's go parallel to it. It still changes. When you go over the center of it, center of the coil, as it does to the half of, I mean, parallel. That's just on big silver coin, though. It hits that nickel any kind of way you want. And here's a half a dollar from the tip. And it's from the center. It still hits it, but it changes and gives it a lower tone. Man, that's strange. Okay, let's go back to uh, beach again. Can't go to beach because beach is multi-tone. I don't think you can change the tones in beach. I don't think. I'm gonna try that. Hold on a minute to find out. I don't remember reading that part. My Miggle Jack. My Indian. She's over there in the house. He won't come out sometimes. Big old Jack. He just lays here and gets the scratches. He's a big old Jack. Circus trained dog. Yeah, he's circus trained. You big daddy Jack. Ooh, big old feet. He's old. Big old Jack's old like me. Yes, he is.
I gotta go clean my truck up, get ready to pick up my daughter at the airport. I'll get back to you. Too much clean. You can see, if you remember in a video, I think I did it. This is a dog thing that comes. I bought it from a Instagram guy called a dog treat cover or something. It hooks onto the back, hooks onto the back of the headrest and contains everything right in through here. So nice creature features and fed it for the dogs. But I put all my knife stuff on it. And it's got, uh, what's cool about it, it's got these little ropes back here and they got a piece of pipe on them. You stick that down in behind the seat so it keeps it in place. I just got to unsnap and take it out. I'll get back to you.